Hi everyone. I think what we'll do is take a short stroll through the garden and look at some of Pete's patterns. And the idea to remember is they're based on scale. It's, it's a large garden. Again, we we're planting about 15,000 square feet. So right here we have Allium Summer Beauty, which is a mounding plant, rich green foliage. It loves tight planting. That's a big plus. It doesn't mind colliding with itself intensely. And in between it is Vernonia Iron Butterfly. Just a moment, just a little spurt of butterfly, iron butterfly. And that drifts into uh, another large area that's uh, four feet by eight feet. And that's with Veronica Evelyn is there, pink Evelyn. And that's going to reach about 30 inches tall with a very vertical look, contrasting the small round flowers of the allium. We have that drifting through here. And that's one solid mass growing vertical. So it's able to collect a lot of sunlight going down so it can be planted tightly together. The plant can collect sunlight to stay healthy. And as we move past the Veronica, we get into uh, Echolia terracotta. It's a slightly vertical, kind of a reddish colored yarrow with gray green foliage. And there's a large sweep of that. And behind that is prairie drop seed. And that has uh, have a nice soft texture. And interplanted in the prairie drop seed is some Ansonia Tabernay Montana salicifolia called Fontana. It has dark stems that came from Intrinsic Garden. And interplanted in the Achillea, there's just a couple of Aster oblongifolius October skies. So that'll give late color to the soft texture of the Achillea. And then we go a little farther down as we make a turn. This is Aster Twilight. It's a hybrid between uh, Macrophyllus and I'm, I'm not sure the other parent. That's going to get around 36 inches tall with soft blue flowers in August. And then it steps down to an a still be called Delft Lace. Delft Lace uh, gets around 30 inches tall and that's a, 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 a very vertical spikes on it. And then it looks good when it's not in blue, keeps that vertical look. And that drifts down around the curve. And then behind that is Menarda Bradburyana. And the Bradburyana, you can see the slope. That drifts down the rock planting with uh, Sprawlus heterolepis and some Astra macrostachys. I'm not an Astra, I'm sorry, it's Liatris microstachys drifted with the Sprawlus. So that takes us down to the, the boathouse and it ends with the Allium Summer Beauty. And I'd also like you to introduce to you some of the people that have contributed to the project in a very, uh, very cool way, the land, land Works Group. So I want you to get to know them a little bit, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hi, my name is John Clyde from Land Works. Uh, Chris Miracle and I, Landscape Architects, brought uh, Pete and Roy into this project. You know, the clients wanted something that has not been done around here and wanted something big. And we brought uh, Pete and Roy from uh, uh, Lake Geneva and Holland to do this uh, beautiful project. And it's been a learning experience about the natural garden and the way that uh, uh, the way to, that we should all uh, be doing gardens from this point forward. Hi, my name is Mitch. Hi, my name is Jesse. Hi, my name is Therese. 